Capitol using never before seen video footage and the testimony of officers caught on the front lines to investigate what happened and why. Alice Barr with the latest from Washington. The deadly Capitol siege brought back in searing detail today through body cam video and emotional testimony from four officers who described being crushed. You know, recall thinking to myself, this is how I'm going to die defending this entrance. Beaten. One latched onto my face and got his thumb in my right eye, attempting to gouge it out. Tased. I heard chanting from some in the crowd, get his gun and kill him with his own gun. And abused with racial slurs. Is this America? The U.S. Capitol and D.C. Metropolitan Police officers testifying in the first hearing for a House panel investigating the January 6th insurrection. This threat hasn't gone away. It looms over our democracy like a dark cloud. Just two Republicans sit on the committee after heated partisan infighting, GOP leadership denouncing it as politically motivated. We must know what happened here at the Capitol. We must also know what happened every minute of that day in the White House. Today, the officers rebuked Republicans who've downplayed the attack, saying they went to hell and back to protect them. Too many are now telling me that hell doesn't exist or that hell actually wasn't that bad. The indifference shown to my colleagues is disgraceful. The officers still living with the trauma of January 6th, bringing their experience back to Capitol Hill and calling on Congress to make sure it never happens again. Though former President Trump was rarely mentioned today, the committee does plan to investigate what role he played in encouraging the insurrection. In Washington, Alice Barr, NBC News.